I'm reviewing my Sadowski HPJ Metro. Uh, so this is not the uh, the lower line, this is the middle line that uh, Warwick makes. Um, I've had this base for coming up on two years. Um, like it. Uh, I would tell you that uh, high level, if I was trying to go for just one four string that could do it all, this would probably be the one. Um, I've owned quite a few Sadowskis, so uh, I'm pretty aware of the old Metro style, uh, what a NYC play is like and the uh, new German-made Metros, and I'm a fan of them. Uh, they're good bases. Um, I'm going to kind of play through some things on here and just kind of show the uh, settings that I have. I'm going to start off with it in active. I'm going to play it like I usually play it, which is active. Uh, tone right down the middle, both pickups blended. Uh, probably about a 15% bass boost, no treble boost. And I have the uh, vintage tone control rolled off about maybe a quarter of the way, so about 25%. So uh, I'm playing with some... Ernie Ball Cobalt Flats on here, so flat wounds. If you don't hear the zing, that's why. Uh, but I'll play around a little bit, a couple different styles, uh, show you how it sounds in passive, do a little pickup blend, we'll go from there. center both blend. I'm going to roll it towards uh, the P pickup a little bit and go from there. So that's how I play it in active. Uh, there is a lot of bass range on the uh, pick, uh, the pickups on here. So the preamps, the Sadowski preamp, uh, that comes pretty much factory from with all their bases. Uh, my experience with this particular Metro is it chews through batteries. I have to change the battery out about once every three months, regardless if I'm playing this bass or a lot or not. Don't leave it plugged in. Uh, this one chews batteries a lot. My other Sadowski, that's a Metro, also does not. So I really don't know what's going on there, but this one goes through batteries a whole whole bunch. Um, I'm going to play pick style down the middle with it and let you hear that how that sounds. the 
active sound. Um, I'm now, now going to play it in passive. Uh, same thing, blend right down the middle. output it probably drops off a good five to ten decibels easy um, not that I've measured it or anything um, but it's a it's a good sound so I, I would tell you like uh, it is the same thing without the bass boost on the bottom uh, for the passive sound um, I have had a Sadowski PJ5 before where I played it mostly passive I sound sounded better to be honest um, this one I play active it's, it cuts a little bit a little bit better active um, I'll play slap style a little bit in active, just to, so you can hear it. It's got flats again, so not a great slap sound, but it is what it is. Flats are about two years old, so uh, you're not going to hear a lot of really good tone out of, out of some of these flats when it comes to the high end stuff. Um, so, a little bit about this bass. I purchased this online. I don't even remember who I got it from. Um, it's been about two years, but I worked a whole bunch. I bought a couple of basses. Most of what you see in my reviews are what I, I've bought in the last year and a half from working so much. Um, I usually pick this bass up when I'm going to play uh, a gig where I want to have a dependable four string and a, and a good sound that I know is going to fit in the mix very well. This is a great sounding live bass, so it really sits in the mix well. It really carries underneath the band. And the Sadowski preamp probably has a lot to do with that. Uh, it's a well-made instrument, too. Um, so I, I'll tell you, just a, this is my fourth Sadowski, I think, maybe my fifth. I've owned a bunch of them, so I like them. I've never kept a whole lot of them, though. This is the probably the longest I've kept a Sadowski is the two that I've got right now. I've got a, a Metro Modern 5, and I've got this. And uh, this here... Uh, is a 2021 and it was made in Germany and it weighs a little under eight pounds so very lightweight bass um, candy apple red maple neck um, it's got the uh, uh, Calfero uh, neck uh, material on the fretboard um, jazz bass type neck so it's got a, a thinner neck style uh, the the headstock on a Sadowski uh, I guess for balancing purposes is a little thicker than what you probably see on a Fender but Feels good. The tuners are Sadowski style. Uh, they don't slip. Uh, they've been good tuners. The pickups are Sadowski uh, brand pickups. Um, bridge is stock. Everything's stock. It's, it's just the Sadowski straight from the factory. Everything. It being that lightweight of a chambered body, it's fantastic. Um, it comes with Sadowski strap locks, which are the old uh, work kind of rebranded strap locks. It also comes with a Sadowski gig bag, which is not bad. Um, it's kind of a hybrid of what Sadowski's putting out in the Warp Rock bag, which I've owned uh, one of each of those. Kind of prefer the older Sadowski uh, bag, to be quite honest, so I use my uh, my uh, mono gig bag before I'll pick up the Sadowski bag, because they're nice to have as a, as a throw around beater. Um, I've owned enough Sadowskis because the way that they sit. I've not owned a single one that, you know, when you put it in the mix in a big band that you can't hear or it doesn't sit well. They're, they're good instruments for that. I always like to tell my story about Roger because this uh, is something that's really stuck with me about a person that cares about their business and people who buy their instruments. Um, it's probably been about a decade back. I was playing a Metro, so this is not an NYC. I dropped it on stage, completely my fault, ruined the input jack. Uh, I basically busted the input jack. Lucky I didn't have the cord cut to the base. And I wrote him and said, hey, I, I need a, to know what type of brand switch this is so that I can get it changed out because I wrecked it. And he just responds back to send me your address, I'm going to send you one. And he sends me one, pays for shipping and everything, great tune. And I was like, okay, somebody willing to do that, um, they really are good at what they do and they realize that we're spending thousands of dollars for an instrument for maybe a $20 jack to be willing to, to do that. So that's always stuck with me. Um, like I said, I've owned four or five of these instruments. They're, they're good instruments. The benefit of a Sadowski is it's going to fit in a band. It's going to sound great. It's hard to make these sound bad. I'm sure you could if you jack the bass control all the way up, but they have a bottom end that just sits in a band. It's lightweight, the fret work is right out of this, the shop, pretty immaculate, um, it's got a good action on it. My Federa and my Bluesman Vintage are definitely a little bit better on the, uh, the playability, but um, 
This is so customizable now with what works added. You have the just enough feature that's now on here where there's some outer inch spots where you can raise up and down on, on the nut. And that's that's something that we used to not have on Sadowski. So I'm excited to see what uh, Warwick continues to bring to the Sadowski line. Um, if you've never owned a high-end Warwick, you're missing out. That is a fantastic instrument. Uh, most of the sounds don't fit the things that I do anymore, but I've owned one custom shop Warwick and uh, it's, it is a phenomenal instrument. So when I started taking over from Sadowski, I was like, okay, they're gonna do some cool stuff. And that's why I bought both the ones I did. Good instruments. Um, really nothing more else to say than uh, it, it's a, for the weight and uh, the sound and everything. If you had to go buy one bass to sit there and say for a price point where I'm gonna invest and I'm gonna get all my money back out of it, Sadowski where it's at. Um, I definitely believe in that. I got a lot of other high end gear that I like. Um, this is one where I can throw flats on it. I'm gonna show up, I know it's gonna sound good. I don't have to worry about it. So, um, like I always say, uh, if this doesn't work for you, just go get a P-Bass. Again, I'm a P-Bass guy, so this is a PJ. Um, how I actually play this, um, I, I roll off the bridge pickup just a hair and have mostly P pickup, a little bit of jazz pickup. It's good sound. Round one ounce flats, it don't matter. This thing sounds good. That's pretty much it.